Okay, my name is Magdi Musoba. I'm uh, one of the two authors of this book, Official Methods for the Determination of Trans Fats. Uh, my co-author is John Kramer. Uh, I just discovered that, uh, to my surprise, pleasantly surprised actually, that this book featured on the list of the top ten books uh, by AOCS Press. It was ranking number four on that uh, bestseller list. Uh, anyway, it is a book that is well written and describes in a very nice and concise way uh, the various official methods uh, for the determination of fatty acids, uh, fatty acid profiles, uh, trans fats, and so on. Um, it deals with GC, gas chromatography, as well as infrared spectroscopy. Um, it compares the various official methods that, are, that have been published by AOCS, AOAC, ISO, and the Japanese uh, Oil Chemist Society. Chem Chemist Society. So it's, it's a very concise way of looking at the various methods, their advantages, disadvantages. Uh, it gives you the uh, various uh, methodologies for preparing a sample, uh, how to hydrolyze, derivatize. It tells you about how uh, to prepare samples that are of various uh, natures like edible oils, uh, milk fat, fish oils, uh, f uh, foods, food products. So it, it's a very nice way of introducing someone, uh, whether you're an expert or not, uh, just a huge and simple way of introducing people to, to the methodologies that are very much needed. Um, what else can I say? The infrared portion of the, of the book is also well concise and, and well written. It deals with the transmission uh, mode of measuring as well as the internal reflection mode which is much faster, much uh, quicker than GC. GC is complex, requires expertise, but it gives you fatty acid profiles information. Uh, GC uh, infrared on the other hand gives you just the total trans fat content in five minutes. So there are nice advantages to each method. Both are needed. They are both complementary. And this is a very nice book that gives you everything you might want to know at a glance.